What is up, guys? It's Tony here, and today we are doing a tutorial for Final Cut Pro. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these, but there is some really cool software out now. Um, as you guys know, for the longest time, there are multiple things Final Cut Pro doesn't do that I've been on the search for a solution. Uh, many people remember my videos uh, like Optical Flow uh, tutorial, kind of a replacement for, uh, for Twixter on After Effects. Um, I also did one about the actual um, Twixter effect uh, for Final Cut, and that was pretty cool. Um, so, we finally have Twixter on Final Cut. The only thing that we don't have on Final Cut yet is motion tracking. Motion tracking is very, very important for all sorts of video editing, including TV shows, commercials, um, any sort of like advertisement is very useful for using that. Um, if you're doing like some sort of music video or montage, it could be useful. I mean, real realistically, you can use it in anything. Um, it's just a really cool tool um, for any sort of video editing. So, Final Cut Pro for the longest time, the way you would do motion tracking was with keyframing. I've done videos on that in the past. There was also some software that tried to mimic motion tracking, but it was really just a tool that would help you keyframe most of the time. So... When are we actually going to get a real motion tracking uh, piece of software? Well, the answer is today. It's actually been around for a bit. I'm glad that I finally had my eyes open to it. Um, it is called Simple Tracker or uh, Track X. Um, well, actually, it's called Track X, and it's from uh, from a really cool company. I'm going to leave their link in the description. They have lots of really cool plugins for um, Final Cut Pro, and I'm excited to uh, test out all of them. Um, so. I'm going to give you guys a quick demo of how it works. Um, I really do recommend you guys get this, though, if you are a Final Cut Pro editor. It's priced very well. Uh, but before you go out and spend the money, I definitely recommend you check it out and make sure it works uh, or does what you need it to do. So the way you do this, I'm going to do a short little tutorial here. If you want a real tutorial, I'd recommend checking out the links in the description because there's going to be one in there. Um, but this is just a quick little tutorial, and really it's all you're probably going to need because... This software is pretty easy to use, uh, fortunately. So, I'm going to drag this uh, this uh, text here to 346. And the reason why I'm dragging it to 346 is because the part of my clip, this is my clip here, um, the part of my clip I want to motion track is 3 minutes 46 seconds long. So, get some text, drag it down to the length of what you want to motion track, get into your title, and write what you want. I'm going to write balance... And I'm also going to change the color of it to something that might pop more. Um, I'm also going to add an outline, which means I'm going to need to have a better background to see the outline with. Um, for the outline, actually, let's go with green and then do like a black outline. Um, whoops, let's go green and then a black outline. And that looks pretty good. And then we're also going to go into the font and just change the font so it looks better. Um, man, I have a lot of fonts. <laughs> this might take a second. All right, let's see here. Um, a little bit more. Okay, so the next step here, now that we have our font ready to go, let's bring it back down here. Um, what you're going to do is you're just going to create a new compound clip. Um, I'm going to call it Balance. And we're doing this because the uh, program, the little uh, uh, separate entity that we're going to put on top of this clip here, requires a file, a compound clip, um, to be imported into it. So here we go. We're going to go to Generator, uh, bring over the simple tracker. And as you can see, you just need to have it hover above your part of your clip that you want to motion track. And here's the interface that we're going to be working with. So, first off, this big text here is just to explain to you how to use it. Uh, right away, just drag this over here to Insert Layer, layer under uh, Generator. And it's going to make it a lot easier for you to see what you're working with here. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is I'd recommend going to the first frame. And from the first frame, you're going to choose this sort of oval here. And I'm actually going to redo that uh, once. Actually, let's just resize it a little bit. This should look pretty good. All right, looks that looks okay. 
Let me do that a little bit more. And what you're going to do now is you are going to track forward, very simply. And as you can see, just like on After Effects, it just goes forward through the frames and it tracks. And it does a very, very good job of it. Are there times where it has a little bit of issues? Yeah, and that's usually because the uh, point you chose isn't very distinguishable. You need to find something that's distinguishable, easy to see, easy for the tracking program to recognize, and all those things together will give you a pretty good um, track. So, uh, by the way, I just turned on background render. Uh, you go to Final Cut Pro on top left and preferences. You have to turn it off while you're tracking. So, I turned that off just uh, to um, allow myself to track it there. And now we're going to wait for it to render and give you guys a demonstration of what it looks like. So, let's go ahead and um, I'm going to turn down all the audio here so we don't have that blasting in your ears. Um, there we go. So, as you can see, text moves in. It's tracked very smoothly. Very smoothly. And of course, you know, I could have made the text look better. I could have chose a better... Um, a better uh, animation for it to you know come in and leave and things like that. I could have even moved the uh, text off to the side to follow him. Um, there's a lot of things I could have done here. It was just a quick demonstration. As you can see, um, this is a good demonstration of what this tool can do. It's very powerful. It's very good. You can see as he slightly moves, it follows him very closely. It does an incredible job. An incredible job of motion tracking. And I can't believe we're finally seeing the day where motion tracking is in Final Cut Pro. Um, I think, you know, I think a lot of you guys will be happy to see this. And I hope you guys try it out. There's a link in the description to check it out. And that's it, guys. I'll see you guys next time.